Let's get more on our life in Washington. Andy Oak, who's an expert on America's First Ladies, joining us. Uh, Andy, thanks for uh, joining us here. Were they a better team on the White House stage than they were on the silver screen? Uh, well, you know, it, it really is a bittersweet ending to one of the great American love stories. You know, the two of them met, as was indicated in your reporter's package, when they were actors in Hollywood. Uh, Ronald Reagan was president of the Screen Actors Guild, and Nancy Davis was a young aspiring actress that made her way onto a list, one of the communists don't hire a blacklist kind of thing in Hollywood, mistakenly. With, for her, her, she had a similar name to someone else that had gotten themselves into some trouble. So it was, she had arranged a lunch to meet with Ronald Reagan to get her name taken off that list. And that's really where the romance started. And it continued right up till the day he died. Uh, I've been to the Reagan Library in Simi, California. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot where she'll be laid to rest next to her husband. And it's really where she's kind of inactively been waiting to go since, since she lost him to Alzheimer's in that long goodbye, as was mentioned. They, they really were a true love match. And was she the, the, the power behind the throne? I, I, I used that uh, phrase previously because, of course, her nickname in the White House was Queen Nancy. Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting. She, she's, she's not the first first lady to be called queen. We can go back to the Monroe administration, and Elizabeth Monroe was called Queen Elizabeth because of her leanings towards French culture and French language and French decor and things like that. Whenever there's an assertive lady in the White House, they take that sort of queen title. But her first uh, memoirs that were published in 1989 called My Turn is all about her influence in the Reagan administration and uh, and, and the the, the, to try and put, dispel some of the some of the misconceptions and rumors and and sort of the glorified uh, uh, misgivings of, of what people thought was actually going on, mm. they were a true partnership. And she said that of course that she had an influence on her husband's life and her husband's career because she was sleeping next to him. They lived in the same house. They were married. They lived in the same bed. And Ronald uh, similarly said that that he did not make decisions without passing them by Nancy uh, uh, first. And there was a little bit of uproar about that, but we can go back to the Washington administration. You know, during the during the winter encampments of the Revolutionary War, wow. George Washington would bring Martha to his side for the same reason. Yeah. Uh, historical parallels. Um, and what about the, the mystique then the White House? Now, I know it wasn't quite Camelot, but uh, was there a sort of shared um, sort of glamour, if you like, with what Jackie Kennedy had done in that uh, she, Nancy Reagan, decided that uh, you really needed all the, uh, the, the glamour, the, the new China, the, the redecoration of the White House after the sort of rather uh, ascetic uh, times of the Carter administration. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the, uh, as, as history will go, some first ladies are celebrated for doing one thing that another first lady is chastised and, and raked over the coals for. And, and Nancy really didn't do anything too differently than a lot of first ladies did in, in selecting new China and things like that. Um, uh, she was a public figure. She knew how to work uh, communications and the camera. She came from Hollywood. Right. So when she did her Just Say No campaign, she got celebrities behind her. She appeared on the popular American uh, sitcom Different Strokes. She did charity events with Mr. T. She was uh, <laughs> lifted lifted up at, at professional basketball games, sporting events to and slam they, dunk Just Say No basketballs. Great, Mary. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us and uh, taking us through those times. Thank you. Well, you're watching Sky News coming up in a moment.